Let's take a look at the Hot Toys Secret Base located here in Hong Kong at the Sino Center, one of their flagship stores. And most of what we're going to see needs little introduction, but we'll talk about the lineup and how it's all set up. So walking in as a center display, we have the individual cabinet with the Avengers Endgame collection. So I believe this is everything exclusive to the title, Avengers Endgame. And this is rather than the actual battle lineup on display. So if you're wondering where the likes of Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther or Scarlet Witch is, of course I'm sure those are in the other sections. So this is everything Endgame and we have the big three standing at the front with Captain America of course being right in the centre to lead the line. And then we also have Iron Man, the Mark 85, a really clean looking suit with that red and gold colours. And of course Thor as well with his Stormbreaker. So really cool as a collector, whether it's Hot Toys, SA Figure Arts or Marvel Legends that you have, of course you're likely to put more of the other characters together to build that final battle display. But for marketing purposes, this is what we get. And staying with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we have the incredible display for Iron Man. And this is the largest selection in this basement. So everything from the Hall of Armor, Iron Man Mark 1, all the way to his endgame versions, we have them here. So Tony Stark, Pepper Potts, Iron Man 2 of course with that Mark V, the villains on the show with Whiplash and Iron Monger as well. We also have Iron Man 3 and that Mark 42, one of my favourite suits and alongside we also get to see Iron Patriot and all the war machines on display. We also have the Nano Gauntlet and a larger scale of Iron Man and some really nice artwork in the background. Of course the rest of the Iron Man suits from the first Avengers movie with that Mark 6 to the Mark 47 in Spider-Man Homecoming and the Endgame looks with the Quantum suit and the most iconic pros with that I am Iron Man look. Then we have the Avengers 2012 all lined up together, an iconic look for the original team plus Loki as well. Although we've seen better versions of these toys of each of the characters, to me this is still some of the best looks throughout the phases. And next up we have the Avengers Age of Ultron, another display they have to set up here of course all lined up together once again. Ultron at the back and we have the new introductions for Scarlet Witch or Wanda Maximoff as she's known as, as well as her brother Quicksilver. And then we have the rest of the team lined up minus Hulk, that's because he is on the left hand side fighting Hulkbuster with that Iron Man Mark 43 appearing inside. Then things start to heat up for the MCU with another huge display of figures for two very popular lineups with the Avengers Infinity War at the top and the Spider-Man section below. So for the Infinity War lineup we see all the characters mixed up together from the Battle of Wakanda to the Battle on Titan, not really separated just one display all together. We have Captain America of course leading the line with Hulkbuster, Raccoon, Gru, Four, Bucky at the back and Iron Man the Mark 50 the nanotech suit center of display with the rest including Black Widow and Black Panther from the Battle of Wakanda. And notice Ant-Man and the Wasps are there too despite not being in the movie. And then we have the Spider-Man trilogy starting off with a larger scale of the Homecoming suit on a vulture's wings as a base and then the standard version of the homecoming suit behind. And then on the opposite side is the sequel for Far From Home with Mysterio and the drones and more from the first movie like the homey suit as well as the zombie illusion Iron Man from the sequel. And we also get the Iron Monkey with the stealth suit. Then we have Iron Spider thrown in here in case you're wondering where he was. Of course he's not in the Infinity War display and I assume this is the Infinity War version and of course now having appeared in No Way Home he's right here alongside the other Spider-Mans. And of course alongside we also have the black and gold suit from his latest movie as well. Of course as predicted the three Spider-Mans in the center and I believe this is the older versions from their solo movies so we're gonna have to wait for the No Way Home ones later on. And as you can see in the center we have the Far From Home upgraded suit as well as the Spider-Man 3 and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figures. We also have Stan Lee as well as the villains like Electro from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Sandman from Spider-Man 3. We do however have a villain from the No Way Home lineup and that is the Green Goblin figure. And this one of course shows all the accessories that it comes with. And there's more Spider-Mans making up another colourful display with the game and animated versions all thrown together. So we have What If, the Game Reverse versions, Miles Morales as well as the Into the Spider-Verse versions. 
And for Phase 4, we have the Black Widow and Taskmaster in a dynamic pose. And this certainly caught my eye. Very rarely do I see 1-6 scale poses other than just standing there or individually. But this one, when you combine the two in a fight scene, it really makes an eye-catching display. And now we have the DC section, starting off with Superman, the classic Christopher Reeves version, alongside the beginning of the DCEU with Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. And then it's the Justice League team, of course, remember still no cyborg, as well as the tactical suit Batman is there too, and the newly released Zack Snyder's version of Justice League with that two set, the Nightmare Batman and the Black Suit Superman. And for the solo films, we have Aquaman as well as the Wonder Woman 84 Golden Eagle Armor, as well as the CW Flash. We also have a bunch of Suicide Squad figures with a Harlequin display, and the first Suicide Squad movie with variations of Joker, as well as Batman and Deadshot. And also there's the Dark Knight trilogy, which we never forget, and of course including that Batman and Joker interrogation scene, which is so iconic, and some of the Batman 1989 stuff is also there, which I didn't get to capture. And now moving away from the superhero genre, we have some classic movies, including the Keanu Reeves, John Wick, and Matrix figures, and of course Matrix being one of my all-time favorites, and another classic is Robocop, they do have a lineup here too as well. And for the Star Wars section, this is probably the largest selection of figures after the Marvel Cinematic Universe and with a variety from the old to the new movies. So we have Mandalorian as well as Revenge of the Six, which in my opinion is very underrated. And we have Episode 1, the first Star Wars film I saw in the cinema, as well as the newer ones like Rogue One. And there's also a selection of the original trilogy, of course, how could there not be one, with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in their center. And of course, we have the sequel trilogy too, as well as larger scales of the Star Wars figures like the statues and different costume variations of the characters. And more classics, which I believe have been here for many years now, correct me if I'm wrong, the Terminator figures have been around for some time. So the first two movies, of course, as well as the sequels. And if you're a fan of Alien and Predator, we do have some 80s nostalgia here. And there's actually a really nice selection of both of the movies and the larger scales of both characters as well, which is always fascinating to see. So that's just a quick tour around the Hot Toys base again. Always a wonderful display on show and worth taking a look. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.